Let's roast nuts and seeds. Some people may turn to granola bars for healthier breakfast or snacks. The truth is, many store-bought granola bars are really just candy bars parading around as something they're not. Today I want to show you how to make low-carb keto granola bars at home, using nuts, seeds, and a few ingredients. I used a blend of almonds and walnuts, but you can use any kind of keto nuts. Roasted nuts have the best flavor. I roasted in non-stick pan. You can roast in the oven too at 400 degree Fahrenheit for 10 minus 15 minutes. Roast and cool down completely. Chop nuts in food processor. Regularly eating a healthy diet that includes nuts may improve artery health, reduce inflammation related to heart disease, decrease the risk of blood clots, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes, lower the risk of high blood pressure, lower the risk of early death due to heart disease. Eating nuts every day as part of a balanced diet can be great for your health. Just make sure you don't go overboard. Since nuts are high in calories, nuts contain healthy fats, minerals, and nutrients that not only make them a great snack, but also mean they are a heart-healthy food. Add a quarter cup unsweetened coconut flakes. Add two tablespoons flax seed meal. Add two tablespoon hemp heart seeds. Add one eight tablespoon pink salt. Mix all dry ingredients in one bowl. Mix well nuts and seeds and keep on the side. Let's prepare wet ingredients. Add one egg. Egg helps to hold the bar mixture together, so don't skip. Add one tablespoon vanilla extract. Choose the natural, runny kind, with no added sugar. Any natural nut butter you prefer will work. I added three tablespoons peanut butter and two tablespoons almond butter. Add a half cup monk fruit sweetener. Monk fruit tastes just like sugar and mixes seamlessly with the base that binds all the nuts and seeds together, so bars won't taste gritty. Now mix dry and wet ingredients together. Like, subscribe and share please. Push the mixture firmly into the prepared baking dish and press 3 tablespoons unsweetened chocolate chips into the top. Add three chocolate chips unsweetened on the top. Preheat to 350 degrees F and place baking. Dish on the top rack. Keep in the oven until edges turn golden brown. Remove from oven and sprinkle two tablespoons sesame seeds on top. When it was hot, cool the sugar-free granola bar recipe completely in the pan. Before removing, lift the parchment paper out and slice into bars. Why I love and share granola bars, sweet and nutty, slightly chewy, with lots of satisfying crunch, easy prep with no chopping by hand, takes just 30 minutes, made with real ingredients. Eat healthy and stay healthy. Why you'll love this Kato granola bar recipe, sweet and nutty, slightly chewy, with lots of satisfying crunch, easy prep with no chopping by hand, takes just 30 minutes. 
can store in airtight containers in the refrigerator and it's good for a week. Hope you like my video. Thanks for watching till end.